Hi, my name is Carsten. I'm trying to do some reviews on new issued CDs or albums, as well as um, uh, old classic albums. I also want to try to rank some of my favorite studio albums, but not in this issue. This one is about Ken Hensley's My Book of Answers. Uh, Ken Hensley had a very special place in my upbringing. Uh, one of my very first concert uh, experiences was watching or seeing Uriah Heep in the early 1970s in Copenhagen. Besides, uh, keyboard positions has always uh, fascinated me. That's why I learned to play the piano in my younger days. Ken Sensley is, <clears throat> as many know, a former member of Uriah Heep. Uh, Blackfoot and uh, several other bands, as well as he had a huge uh, solo career. Um, uh, Ken Hensley died last year in November, actually November the 5th, uh, at the age of 75. Um, so uh, he had an independent collection recorded before my book of answers, and that is expected to be published later this year. Uh, this posthumous uh, release uh, was uh, used using the words of a Russian fan, actually a Russian poet called Vladimir Emelin, uh, which, uh, or who, uh, Ken Hensley met at the airport in Alicante, Spain. Um, Hensley has adapted his words uh, partly in a literary uh, translation and uh, he has then uh, adapted it into his song structures. But it seems to be consistent work throughout. Um, there's this Russian gloom about the album. Uh, but also optimism. After 55 years, Hensley's voice is still pleasant and easy to listen to. His control of uh, the Hammond organ and slide guitar is effortless. He does a better job than expected, bringing Emelin's poets uh, to musical life with his heapsk cover girl uh, and the, uh, the number or the track called The Darkest Hour among the highlights. Anyone uh, hoping re to return to tracks such as Demons and Wizards, of course, will be disappointed. But more realistic re expectations are well met. Hensley made uh, some of the songs um, put together a, uh, a great band to record them, file sharing remotely because of the corona, and it was recorded last year, so it the sounds is pretty fresh. Fresh. The album uh, opens with "Lost," my guardian. Hence this word weary voice that works uh, with the um, what do you say? Uh, his pretty classic rock sound. It's heavier and more guitar oriented than I expected, but it works. Right on this, right on the heels comes right here right now, which follows a similar format but with slightly more commercial flavor. Emelian's words do not always fit easily to Hensley's strong structures, but for the most part it works. I listened to this album several times and it's getting better and better every time I listen to it. It's still not, in my opinion, my humble opinions, his best solo album, uh, and but it's getting close to which the one that I think is his best, namely uh, Proud Words on a Dusty Shelf, but it it, it get there. As I said, uh, this album you need to listen to more than once, and uh, when you do that, uh, it grows on you. So I really recommend you try to listen to it or uh, better try to buy it. As I mentioned above, it, 
is um, is possible that there will be another uh, Ken Hensley album this fall because they had a lot of material that has been unreleased which they might be released uh, at the between September and, and Christmas. That was my review of Ken Hensley's My Book of Answers, recommendable, and I hope uh, to get it myself on the CD uh, shortly. Thank you for listening, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for looking in.